I'll, I'll say this to you. We spent a lot of time together uh, last year. Started in January. I started recording and working on a new album for the Wu-Tang, writing all the music. Uh, we got together in March and we recorded some great songs. Then we got together in the summer and we toured. Um, and we recorded some great songs again. And I would say, you know, there's an album called A Better Tomorrow that I started working on last year that's, that's coming together great. You know, it's still, it's still missing a few elements, but uh, it's coming together real great. And if those elements don't make it, it's not gonna take away from how great it's gonna be. Because it's great even if no lyrics is on it. Just the sound and the music of it alone sounds timeless. And I mean timeless in the sense of, if you put on Al Green, Love and Happiness, or Tired of Being Alone, it will play right now today as good as it played in 1970, 72, right? There was, I had a few of the Wu-Tang new tracks on my, on my computer, you know, on my playlist, and an old song came on, Al Green, and then my song came on next, and guess what? It sounded like I was in the same thing, that same timeless energy of no matter when, it's going to work. And that's, that's, what, that's what I feel like we got right now. I think that one thing people will see about me is that I am um, I'm, I'm, I'm learning more and getting better and not afraid to show it. No, I'm not afraid to experiment with it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, 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 hopefully I never, I'm never going to cross certain lines because it doesn't, it's unnecessary. But I think that um, one thing that when people watch me on the show and me be cast as green, you know, they'll see that, man, Blizzard can be the guy who is, you know, the man of the Iron Fist come true. He could be Winston, the, you know, the, the male clerk guy. But he also could be this drug enforcement agent, the guy who knows the drugs and who's, who's part of a strong team and support this team and will be a pit bull if he has to. You know, there's one scene where we had to chase down uh, some guys, uh, you know, some criminals. And for the first two, a few first, for the first couple episodes, I felt like a Doberman, a Doberman pitcher, right? Because it felt like, get him, Cassius! <laughs> you know what I mean? Runner! You know what I mean? So, and yo, you know, it was fun because y'all were chasing down, jumping down, and trying to cuff him. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think that's the people that watch this and see me, they're gonna say, man, you know, Rizzo is really taking it seriously. This thing that's a paycheck for him. You know what I mean? I could get paychecks anywhere, actually, right. at, this, at this stage of my life, which I'm blessed to be. That's what great. do. But this is like something very new and it's sharpening me up. I'm going to be better and better. I promise you that. <laughs>